Hello, dear friends. Today we are going to learn about a fantasy romance film called The Map of Tiny Perfect Things from 2021. I wish you a good viewing. Mark wakes up and notices that his mother is about to leave. He goes downstairs but somehow repeats everything his father and sister were trying to say. In the end, he helps solve a crossword puzzle. On the street, Mark helps a stranger avoid an accident and even shows him where the man lost his keys. Then he shows the right way to a girl without even asking her where she is going. In a cafe, Mark miraculously wins the lottery and proclaims, I won. He then goes to the pool, where he looks at his watch as if he knows something is about to happen. As soon as the ball hits the girl, Mark saves her at the last moment. He walks her home and invites her to meet him later, but she refuses. Then Mark goes to his friend Henry's house, where his game character is constantly revived, and Mark asks one question. What would our lives be like if we could be reborn like that? He says that such a power could save a lot of people, but Henry has a different plan, to meet hot girls. Mark replies that it's not that easy. Evening comes and we find out that Mark is stuck in a time loop. This time, another girl has grabbed the ball, forcing Mark to ask Henry what he knows about this blonde. In the new time loop, Mark notices that she has a postcard with a missing dog. He decides to call the number on the card, and a man answers the phone, who also doesn't know the girl. However, one day Mark meets Margaret in a cafe, and she tells him that she is also stuck in this time loop. Mark is excited and asks what she is doing in this fun situation. She replies that she is trying to learn how to drive, but Mark just says that he wants to help the world. After that, he shows her some funny things that happened to him during this period, including a scene with the phone. Suddenly someone calls her and she tries to leave. Mark manages to ask for her number because they are in the same problem. A few days pass and on one of them Mark meets Margaret again. They discuss what is happening and move to the car, where she tells him that she dreams of becoming a NASA engineer. They drive into the woods and see a small lake. Margaret receives the call again and tells the boyfriend that she has to leave, but she will be there soon. After returning home, Mark starts painting. A new time loop begins, in which they meet again and watch a gang of skaters laughing at the girl. However, this only lasts until she shows a cool trick. While they are skating at the rink, Mark finds out that the guy is 21 years old and a student. They try to figure out why they are stuck in this time loop, and Mark suggests that they come up with a challenge. Whoever finds the most perfect random events in the city will win. At first, Margaret doesn't like the idea, but Mark insists, and she agrees. In the store, Margaret puts forward her theory about the shadows of the four dimensions, and that they themselves are the shadows of these four-dimensional people. Then they start looking for the perfect things. Several time loops pass, and they manage to find a small turtle that stops the movement of elderly people playing cards. As soon as a van stops behind one of them, the man turns into an angel. Margaret forces Mark to learn algebra because she cannot communicate with a man who does not understand basic functions. After studying, Margaret ignores the call, and Mark suggests that she skip the meeting with the guy at least once, but she disagrees and leaves. At home, Mark's father approaches him to talk about the future. Mark replies that he wants to become a priest, or even better, a space priest, and then shows his tattoo. The time loop repeats itself, and Mark starts looking for the same guy that Margaret keeps going to. He tells Henry everything he thinks about Margaret. Henry advises him to take her to a special place. Mark brings Margaret to the school hall where he has organized a NASA exhibition and wants to confess his feelings to the girl, but he does not dare and suggests that they go for a bike ride. When they get home, Mark tells her that his mother works almost all day, so he rarely sees her, and his father quit his job because he wants to write a book about the war. He asks Margaret about her parents, but she does not dare to answer. Then they watch a movie, and Mark goes to the bathroom, and Margaret finds a map where he marked perfect coincidences. She asks Mark to start attending art school, but he replies that he was trying to find a pattern in this situation. In the end, he decides to kiss Margaret, but she turns her head away and tries to quickly get dressed and leave. Mark asks her to tell him about her relationship with Jared, but she doesn't answer, as usual, adding that they'd rather remain friends. A new day begins, and Mark first asks how his mother is doing. His father says that she is fine. After that, Mark goes to his friend and tells him everything that happens between him and Margaret. A new time loop begins, in which Mark tries not to greet his father, but he somehow ends up behind him and asks the same question about his future again. Mark confesses that he is in a time loop, adding that his father does not support his dream of art school. He then asks his sister, who overheard their conversation, not to play the violin. She says that in fact their father was fired from the company because they no longer need him. In fact, his father doesn't mind Mark going to art school, but they just don't have the money. Afterwards, he visits a professor who asks him what could have caused the time anomaly. He crosses off several of his assumptions and settles on a singularity that causes time to repeat. The guy suggests that they can get out of the time loop if they leave the singularity. After a few time loops, Margaret suggests doing all sorts of crazy things. Something breaks, something is created, and something just disappears. 
She adds that Mark is only angry because she won't let him kiss her. Then they go to places where they can break things and have a lot of fun. Mark tells her about his theory that they can escape if they go as far away as possible. He says that not only they are stuck in a time loop, but everyone else is too. They just don't realize it. After he says that, she decides to try it. They get to the airport and board a plane bound for Tokyo. As they approach the line where the new day begins, he suddenly wakes up in his room. However, the day is not the same as usual, because his sister does not call him names, and his father is in a good mood, talking about his book. Together they attend his sister's soccer match. Afterward, Mark gives the winning ticket to a random woman, helps save a cat, cheers up an elderly couple, and thanks the builder for his beautiful work. Then he goes to school, where he answers all the questions and spends time with his sister after school. When he tries to repeat the trick, he accidentally injures himself, but in the hospital, he notices Margaret and follows her. He realizes that her mother is sick, and Jared is helping with her treatment. This prompts Mark to say goodbye to his mother before she leaves for work. Meanwhile, Margaret wakes up in her room thinking about her mother. When Margaret goes to her, she tells her that she has had a fight with Mark, but her mother tells her that she has a chance to make things right. Sitting on a bench, Margaret notices a missing dog, whose owner turns out to be Henry. During the game, she also talks about the time loop and eventually reveals a hidden object that will help Mark complete the level. She adds that losses in life or in the game don't matter. After that, Margaret starts making a list of events and driving around the city to complete it. She creates a map that folds into a four-dimensional cube. Using mathematical formulas, Margaret realizes that at seven o'clock, something will happen at the pool. A new time loop begins, in which she tells her mother that she is afraid of the end of the time loop because she might lose it. However, her mother asks her not to dwell on it, because people always lose time, but get something in return. Around 7 o'clock p.m., Mark and Margaret meet by the pool, where she says she has found the key to solving their problems. Mark confesses that he saw her with her mother, and Margaret admits that this is her mother's last day in this world. The first night she really wanted time to stop, and somehow it did. She was extremely happy, although she didn't understand why Mark was stuck with her. However, she realized that he was sent into this time loop so that she would not be alone in such a difficult time for her. She ends her speech with a kiss and then says goodbye to her mother. Outside, time passes the point of no return and it starts to rain. The time loop is broken and now their future depends on them.